Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and in this video, I'll show you how to create a SharePoint HR page that looks bold and sharp. Let's go! SharePoint homepage usually gets all the attention and in my last videos, we looked at several beautiful homepage examples. But what about HR and onboarding pages? New employees ask for HR information more than anything else on the internet. And in their first few weeks, it's critical to make their onboarding experience feel effortless. So let's build an HR onboarding page that wows your employees with minimal effort. By the end of this video, we'll have two pages. So be sure to watch to the end. The first page will be built with SharePoint out of the box web parts. These web parts are available to you immediately and you can even pause and follow me along and build this in your Microsoft 365. The second page will be created with origami web parts. These web parts run on top of SharePoint and help you enhance its look and feel with zero code. If you don't have origami already, check out the link in the video description below to see how you can get it. All right, let's now build both pages from scratch. Let's start our pages by giving new hires access to frequently used onboarding resources like employee handbook and training materials. For my first page, I'll use SharePoint Hero web part that lets me show resources in a full width section and have multiple links at once. I'll select the layout with four tiles and use each of these tiles to link to my onboarding resources. First, we'll link the welcome video. I'm also going to change the title and add a link here. Let's also add links to employee handbook, benefits guide, and training materials in the same way as we added the link before. I like how this banner takes all the space at the top, and you can add a splash of color with custom images like I did here. But I really want to make this page more personalized, so employees get this personal touch right as they land on my page. This is what we'll do for our second page that uses the origami web part. Let's start by adding a full width section like we did before and pick a web part called origami banner with news. Right away, I can see my name next to the welcome and a video that I can play right on a page. Let's edit this web part and change the video to my onboarding overview video, welcoming new employees to the company. Great. I also want to promote a new training event right next to the video here. So I'll add the title and description of my event and a link to the event page where new hires can RSVP their spots. Let's also change the text of the event button so it's clear that it will take employees to the page where they can book their spot for the event. Now let's edit the section on the right next to my video so it can display key resources like handbook, training, and benefits guide. We can name each of these resources in the title, provide a short description, pick an image, and insert the URLs of where these links go. Super simple! Let's now click Save, and our top banner is good to go. What I like about this banner is how user-friendly and customizable it is. It can hold multiple resources at once, so employees don't need to scroll. I like the out-of-the-box hero web part. It greets each employee individually by their name. We can also change the style of the banner's text and select any background. If we don't like solid color, we can choose background image to make it more colorful like this. In my case, I like it when the background is simple and non-distracting, so I'll go back to the background image section and turn my background back to the dark navy color. Overall, it's easy to use and has lots of editing options for a custom design. All right, so here we've included the most important onboarding resources, and we might still have other links we would like to share with new hires. Things like timesheets, pay schedules, and holidays. For that, we'll use quick links. First, let's do this with SharePoint out of the box. So let me go back to the first page. Here, I'll add a single column section, add quick links, and change the layout of the links to tiles. 
Now let's go one by one and add the URL of the link, title, and an icon to make it look good. Now, if I want this link stand out and have a different size and color, how do I do that? The way SharePoint works is by changing a color for one component, I have to change the color of everything else. This can make my page look a bit monotonous. Also, I need to go to IT to add my corporate brand colors. I can't change that myself. That's a bit rigid for my liking. Now, let's see what it takes to customize Quick Links with Origami. I'll start by adding Origami Quick Links to a full width section on my page, so it will align with my top banner. Once the buttons appear, I'll click on an edit icon and go to the web part properties. Here I can change the text, icons, and URLs of my links. Let's add quick links that you hires need most. Now let's click save and change the styling of these buttons. With this quick links, I can easily change the size and colors of my buttons. I'll change the color of my quick links and even make my buttons appear closer to the top. If I want to target quick links to a specific audience, I can do it here. So far, I'm happy with how my buttons turn out, so I'll keep them the way they are. Next, I want to create a spot on my onboarding page where employees can meet their new colleagues. To do that in SharePoint, I can add a conversations web part connecting to my Viva Engage. From here, I can select a community or a topic related to meeting new hires. Unfortunately, when I click on a more compressed layout, it doesn't display the content of the posts unless I click on them. So I'll keep the feed layout and adjust the settings to display one post at a time. This web part has some layout limitations, but I like how easy it is to leave a comment and you can even respond to your colleagues with a video. Plus, if you're a heavy user of Viva Engage already, you don't need to create anything new. It's super simple to connect. But what if you want to target this post to a particular group of users or enable moderation? Now, this is something we'll explore on our page number two. Let's create an area for employee welcomes by adding Origami Social Corner web part. Once we're in an edit mode, we want to select the folder where our welcomes will be saved. This will keep them separate from other pages on the site. I'll also limit the number of cards to only show three and allow only page editors to post. You might want to put new posts on hold until someone reviews them. This can be set up by using moderation in the site pages library and the folder where these posts are stored. This is the same place where you can also set permissions and let only some users see the posts. Now let's take the last step here, hide the author's names since this post will always be posted by HR admin. And we're done. I like how the social corner holds multiple welcomes at once without overcrowding the space. It's an app running on the top of SharePoint, so I don't need to commit to a whole new platform to make my page more social. Next, we will create an area where new hires can find forms and documents to complete their onboarding. Things like benefits enrollment, tax forms, and DAs. For that, we can use document library web part, available in SharePoint by default. Let's add it to the page and select the library with our onboarding files. We want only HR to update this library, so we'll hide the command bar and auto-size this web part to fit the number of items in it. If we want to change the color of these folders, we can click these three dots and pick our colors here. Now, when I see the list of folders like this, I immediately feel like I want to search within them. But I can't do that with this web part. Let's see how Origami Finder app can help. The Finder web part allows me to search for the files within the library, and you can even color code each folder if you want. Let's add the Finder web part to the page and set the name of our library where our files are. Now let's change how these folders look, remove some white space below, and color code the folders with my company brand colors. I also want to change the text prompt within my search bar, so I'll go to label section and type in my search prompt there. Perfect! We are ready to move on to our next section, the onboarding roadmap. I want to give my employees an easy timeline 
that shows each step of the onboarding process. To do that out of the box, I will have to create some kind of an image and insert it here. This can take some time and graphic design skills. With origami, there is an easier way to do that. If I want a similar timeline with origami, I simply use a process steps and timeline web part that automatically creates this graphic for me. What's more, it allows me to link the steps to pages with more resources for each stage of onboarding. I can change the details and colors of my steps right from this edit panel. Once that's done, let's click save and go to the margin section to change location of the timeline so it fits the page width perfectly. That looks great. But what would help more is a breakdown of onboarding milestones, showing what new hires can expect in their first three months of working at my company. To create a breakdown of onboarding milestones with SharePoint out of the box, we can add a new section to a page and set it up to make it collapsible. Let's enable the divider line between sections, move the drop down icon to the right, and set the default display to collapsed. Now I can label the section first day and insert a text box below with the description of what new hires should expect on their first day of onboarding. We can use the same approach to create collapsible sections for the first week, first month, and first quarter of employee onboarding. This timeline breakdown looks neat and helps avoid too much scrolling on a page. The only issue here is that the titles take a full width of the screen and there are limited options for a custom look and feel. This is where Origami's Collapser web part can help. Let's go to our second page and search for a Collapser web part. Here, I can add several collapsible sections to fit any layout. Once I add it to a page, I can easily add more details to each section here. Click save and maybe change the color of the web part to match my style. Next, I want to add a calendar with onboarding events like new hire orientations, meet and greet, and other HR events like open enrollment. For that, I'll use the events web part in SharePoint to pull events from any list on my site, or I can make it display only events marked with a specific category. Here, I'm happy with all the default settings, so I'll just keep it as is. I like this large event images and how prominent they look on the page, but if I wanted them to be displayed in the calendar view and show events from a shared Outlook calendar or multiple sources, I wouldn't be able to do that. With Origami Calendar web part, we can display a calendar view allowing employees to select a date range like you would when booking an online appointment or airline booking. We can also add calendars from multiple SharePoint sites or Office 365 groups and combine them all into a single view. What a difference! No more hunting for events. For this calendar, I want to enable RSVPs so employees can add events to their Outlook and event planners can see who's coming. Let's also set the date range to display events for this quarter and turn off the calendar month view so we can see more events listed at once. I'll go ahead and make this web part a bit bigger and color code event types to match my company colors. And just like that, our calendar is ready. The only thing that this onboarding page is missing right now is the context of HR team members so that new hires know who to ask for questions. To add a list of my HR contacts, I can use SharePoint's People web part. Once I add this web part to the page, I can enter the names of HR team members and this web part will allow me to see their emails and phone numbers as I hover over their names. The People web part is easy to use, but it requires me to know who's part of HR team at my company and do a manual update every time someone new joins or resigns from the HR team. With Origami's People directory, this context can be pulled and updated automatically. Let's see how we can do that. I'll add an Origami People directory web part to my page. Here I can see all my company contacts pulled automatically from Active Directory. What I want to see is only HR team. So let's go to a custom filter and set this directory to show only members from HR. 
In my demo directory, I don't have HR, so I'll show context from operations. Click apply and our directory shows only context from a select department. We're good to go now. Let's publish both of these pages and see what we've got. So there you have it. Bold and sharp onboarding pages created with SharePoint out of the box and origami side by side.